Hey, what's up, Sloan's Joker here. Today we're going to be doing a very quick guide to show you how to get SLI enabled for Rise, Son of Rome, which at its time of release does support it, but there's currently no SLI profile from the people at NVIDIA or GeForce to get SLI working straight out of the box. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work to get it up and running, but it's very, very simple, and stick with me, and we'll uh, show you how to get it up and running as fast as possible. Now, before we go into NVIDIA Inspector, and I'll explain that in a moment, you're going to have to go into the NVIDIA NVIDIA control panel by simply right clicking your desktop and then open up the NVIDIA control panel. Once you're in here you're going to want to make sure you're on the manage 3D settings and you're going to want to be on the program settings tab not the global settings. Now before you go into the NVIDIA inspector you have to do this you have to remove it from your profiles list otherwise it's just not going to work. So what you do is you just come to this drop down and you'll locate Rise Son of Roman here you'll click on that and then it'll be on the Rise profile you just click remove and then apply will show up down here and then Rise Son of Rome will be removed from your profiles then you can go ahead and close out of the NVIDIA control panel from there you're going to want to come to NVIDIA Inspector which you've not used before I'm going to put a link down in the description below to where you can download this uh, this is you know a completely safe software to use it's almost like NVIDIA control panel plus if you could it's just a much more advanced tool which does a lot of the things that NVIDIA control panel does it just does them better and a little bit more advanced so once you got that installed, you're going to come over here, click this little wrench icon, and it's going to open up a second flyout window. Now for this, we're going to have to go up here to this top bar. We're going to start typing Crisis, and we're going to click Crisis 3. That's going to take us to the profile for Crisis 3 with the SLI bits that we need for Rise Son of Rome. Now unfortunately, Rise Son of Rome is not in this NVIDIA inspector list as of date, so we have to come to Crisis 3. Once you're in Crisis 3, and once you've had Rise removed from your application list on the NVIDIA control panel, you're going to come up here to the Add Application to Current Profile, and then you're just basically going to find the .exe for your copy of the game. Now that could be in like C, Program Files, x86, I keep my stuff on the E drive, and then in my games, and you would just come to Steam, uh, Steam Apps, Common, and then you would just find Rise Son of Rome in your list here, find the executable, double click that and then you'll be good to go. Rise.exe will show up right here and you'll know it's on there. Then you just have to click apply changes and once you've done that you're pretty much good to go. You can go ahead and run the game with Afterburner up and you'll see that SLI is working fine and it does scale very well. On my 780s I was getting around 90 to 95% usage on each card and getting a good 130, 140 frames per second on this pretty much very demanding game although honestly in my opinion it does look like it's just a CryEngine tech demo and I'm not a big fan of the game myself but if you are going to be playing it and you want to get SLI working this will help you out so thank you very much for watching guys if you enjoyed the video and it helped you out please stick a like on it below uh, let me know down in the comments if you're having any issues getting this working for you and I'll do my best to answer as many of them as possible don't forget to subscribe and you can always follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Joker Slunt or simply get back to my channel anytime by going to JokerSlunt.com. I'll catch you guys next time. Ta-Riza!